The Arnold. It's one of the most popular strategies on the internet right now. Plenty of videos on YouTube do a fantastic job of explaining the strategy and how to play it, but you haven't seen it broken down like this. Most of us experience craps only one game at a time, but I've built a craps engine that can play a strategy thousands of times. That way we can analyze patterns and get a real feel for what might happen in a live game. Here's what we're going to do. Play the Arnold over 1 million shooters and see the outcomes. Then we'll see how many rolls a shooter needs to survive for our bots to profit. Next we'll analyze their performance over a longer session of 10 shooters. We'll analyze the bank roll to see how much each bot played from their own pocket. Finally, we'll look at the data from the casino's view, including the drop, the house take, and the overall house edge. But first, let's quickly look at the strategy. I set up this experiment to play with $15 units. The bots will place one unit on the pass line. Then when the point is set, they'll make a don't come bet for four units. That's $60 in this scenario. The don't come will be replaced if it gets knocked off. Once the don't come moves to its point, the bots will start $15 continuous come betting and they will play that straight through until the seven out. Let's see how they did. On a per shooter basis, 52.5% of the million bots won money. The average amount they won was $68.67. 43.2% lost money. And on average, they lost just over $90. The bots won more often than they lost, but their losses were greater than their wins when they won. The most any bot lost was $690 and the most one was $585. Up here you can see the median and the ranges of the middle 50 and middle 90% of outcomes. The median is positive, but there's a slight skew towards losses. And that's of course the house edge coming into play. Let's find out how many rolls it took our bots to turn a profit. We have 1 million shooters making that first roll. That's 100% survival because every shooter gets their first shot. The bots have only a $15 pass line bet on that first come out roll, so their profits range from a loss of 15 to a win of 15, and 22.3% of the bots are in profit after this first roll. If you wonder why it's 22%, that's because the pass line wins on a 7 or 11, which is 8 ways out of a total of 36 possible dice combinations, and that ends up being just over 22%. For the second roll, we still have a 100% survival rate, but now it ranges from a loss of 75 to a win of 60. One out of every three bots made a profit after that second roll. 88.9% of shooters survive to the third roll, and that's because about 11% of shooters end with a 0.7 out. Of the bots that actually made it this far, 46.3% are showing a profit. The combined percentage is 41.2%, and those are the bots that both made it this far and are showing a profit. By the fourth roll, over 50% show a profit. There's a little dip around rolls 8 to 10 due to the interaction of the don't pass with the come bets and then it starts rising again. But it never gets to the point where longer rolls guarantee the bots a win. Most of us don't play craps for just a single shooter though, so I also had my bots play for a 10 shooter session. By the way, if you like the way I analyze crap strategies, you'll love my new project. It's called Dice Data Think Tank, and it's the site where I post all of the simulation information that doesn't make it into these videos. Go to thinktank.dicedata.info for more information. It's free to sign up, and when you do, I'll send you the full PDF simulation report for the Arnold that has all the data I'm showing you today and more. With a 10 shooter session, only about 46% of 100,000 bots turned a profit, which returned on average $223. 52% lost, and just under 2% broke even. The numbers are amplified now that we're playing for 10 shooters, and the most any bots lost was 1575, and the most one was 1245.
the middle 90% of outcomes is between 525 lost and 435 won. We all know that we need to have some bankroll when we go into the casino, but especially with craps, it's sometimes hard to know exactly how much a strategy will cost. What I did here was track every bet the bots made to determine whether they made it from their pocket or from their winnings. For example, that first pass line bet is $15 and it always comes from the bot's pocket because they haven't won anything yet. For a few bots, they never had to take any more money out of their pocket. They won a couple of come out rolls which covered the don't pass bets and they were just on a roll from there. But for most of them, they had to outlay more than that to continue playing. On average, it cost the bots just over $321 out of their pocket to play through 10 shooters. If I take this average and convert it to time at the table, assuming a half full table that throws 80 rolls per hour, the out of pocket outlay is just over $300. Of course, this is an average, in real life it's going to definitely be higher or lower, but this starts to give a sense of how much cash a player might need if they decide to play the Arnold at a $15 level. This is the first time I'm showing this metric, so let me know in the comments what you think and if you have any questions. Now let's see this strategy from the casino's viewpoint. The total drop was 32 million. That's the sum of all those out-of-pocket outlays we just looked at. The total bet was almost 219 million. The bots won 106 million and lost 109 million dollars. The difference between those is just over $3 million, which is an overall house edge of 1.41%. That's right in line with the pass line, the come and the don't come bets that the bots are making. One thing you may not have noticed is that the drop is actually pretty low as compared to the total bet. That means that most of the money that's bet in this strategy is actually from winnings, not from out of pocket. In fact, for every dollar that the bots took out of their pocket and bet, almost six dollars they bet from their winnings. This ratio was only 25 cents for every dollar for my last video, the ATS. I think it's going to be very interesting to track this over time, so make sure you subscribe and don't forget to go to thinktank.dicedata.info to download this full report. If you want to go deeper on the Arnold, you can watch my video on the Arnold from the don't where we swap the pass line bet for a don't pass bet. Thanks for watching.